everybody and welcome back to the channel. So we are over at my property and uh, we're going to uh, get the trommel running today. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I built the trommel from scratch from soapstone drawings on the shop floor. So we'll see that in a little bit in the video. There are videos of setting it up over here. I believe I even have a playlist of them. But anyways, we're going to get it running today. But first thing I need to do is I need to clean all the weeds out of my water source pond here. Because those cannot be pumped through the trouble. Those will cause issues. So I need to bench the 270 down first so that I can uh, reach down there to dig all that out. So that the pump can uh, pump without getting any weeds in the suction screen down there. So I'll get this bench down and then uh, we can uh, start washing some stone hopefully. It's been a while since all this has been ran. <clears throat> I set it up about oh, two years ago, two, three years ago and just hadn't had time to, to run it but now I need some stone for around the new shop, so uh, we need to get it running. So I bought the 690B John Deere excavator to actually run the gravel pit with, but uh, for right now I need to move a lot of dirt quick, so the 270 is the tool for the job. Especially at the big bucket.
ditch because I'm actually digging a reservoir. So if you notice, I'm trying to hog it out quite a bit because I want it deeper. Because I'll just keep digging and digging and digging out of this. I don't care if the banks slough in. It's all going to be dug out anyways. Eventually this whole area right here is going to be dug out. I need more water is what I need. So in order to get more water, I got to dig a bigger pond.
going to build a brush mower for this little machine. That's one of the main reasons I bought it for was to do some brush mowing around my grandma's place, grandma and grandpa's place.
need to do some spraying to get rid of all these weeds. So this is the pond that all the sand settles out in and we'll dip this out with an excavator and pile it off to the side. This is just a look at the backside of everything. So there are a lot of videos on me building this stuff, just not exactly the trommel itself. But uh, like that water manifold, things like that. Adding on to the sluice box. So there are more videos on YouTube of this. Alright, I'm going to feed it some more. Well, there we go. This is the first time that I've run this trommel this long in a very long time. Uh, back when I had it set up at my parents, I ran it quite a bit, but uh, this is the first time I've run it this much since I've set it back up. Uh, everything seems to be running real good other than we had a few water issues. That's why we got a little bit of mud in our pea gravel. But I'm going to string that out anyways, and I'm going to use that to pile other stone on. So it's no big deal. Uh, the river rock, as I call it, or eight, I call landscaping stone for around the house. That come very clean. That looks really good. The stuff that come out the end, there is a few big rocks in there due to the fact I don't have the grizzly bars on the feed hopper up there. Uh, Kind of without the feed hopper up there, it's just kind of whatever gets in the bucket goes down to pre-wash. Uh, I did sort a few bigger rocks out, but it doesn't hurt to send some bigger rocks. It's not really going to hurt the inside of the trommel. It's tough. It is a thousand gallon, well, it's an anhydrous tank, so it's it's pretty thick. I uh, cut all the rings out with a plasma cutter, took three inch angle iron and made the actual frame of it i suppose you could call it and uh let me tell you that was a lot of fun to get all them bands cut true i actually had to get it up get it turning and then i took a piece of square tubing i welded it to the frame and i put a piece of angle iron in the top of that and i held a sharpie in it and i let the trommel drum turn slowly and i marked every spot where a screen's at I marked it so I could true it up with the plasma cutter. That's how I ended up getting all those bands cut through. I actually had to put it together and then trim them. So that was that was a lot of fun doing that. Um, it takes a lot of time to cut a tank and do what I did. There's a lot of cut in there. That that around that circumference of that drum, it uh, adds up quick to make all them cuts. So. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was an experience. Took some, uh, it was a learning curve to get it cut apart. Let's put it that way. But uh, a lot of fun doing it. I had a lot of fun building this thing. Uh, would I build another one? Yes. And I plan on building another one. I want to build a uh, another one for screening topsoil. So that's something that I'm going to do maybe next winter uh, when I get some time here in the new shop. I'm going to build another one. But anyways... So this has been your introduction to the 17Z9A Honda Mini Excavator. Um, I was going to save it for later, but uh, just so happens this all worked out and it ended up in this video. I kind of like it better than using the feed hopper, honestly. Uh, it seems like uh, I can move dirt a little quicker and I can sit there right at the end of the trommel and watch what's going down the trommel barrel. So it kind of works a little better. So I don't know, maybe I'll keep using that. Probably it's more economical to use the feed hopper, but uh, if I'm gonna do anything, I might, if I totally decide to get rid of the feed hopper, which would be nice because that's one less thing that takes hydraulic, I could build a bigger pre-wash to dump into. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll make a bigger pre-wash hopper up there. Something that I can dump into with a bobcat or the bigger bucket on the 690 sitting over there. I don't know. That's all things I need to think about and uh, maybe draw something up and have a look at it and see what I think. But anyways, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a subscribe. I'd appreciate that. Um, I want to get my miner's moss put back in my sluice box and my ripples put in there. 
see if we maybe catch a little gold. We'll see what happens. So next time I run it, that's what I'm going to do. So thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Have a good evening.